Hello, my friends. I'm so glad you're joining me here for a slice and a piece of cake. I have an American layover haul to share with you, my friends. So let's just dive right in. Um, I was in Seattle, and the only thing I picked up um, were a few items from Uwaji Maya. Uh, this is an Asian grocery store um, near Chinatown. Well, I think it's in Chinatown. Um, so I picked up this no foods of hawaii this is hawaiian style curry mix i've never had hawaiian curry so i thought hmm that one might be that might be interesting so i picked this up for a dollar 79 us i picked up this bottle of dynasty thai peanut satay sauce this was on sale for a dollar 99 i picked up a couple of beverages so i picked up this i love pineapple so i picked up this pineapple sparkling drink i this was a dollar 29 us but i'm pretty sure i've seen this at sunrise market here so you know me when i'm at sunrise the next time i'm gonna see if i you know if it's more than a dollar 29 us but in any case i'm excited to taste this for thirstyology thirsty so that again dollar 29 and then i picked up these two fruit jelly drinks these were on sale for 99 cents so i picked up the orange orange and grape flavor so again these this was uh 99 cents each and that was all i picked up in seattle so the next the rest of the items are from portland and um I'll just start with my tiny haul from target i only picked up two items from target i picked up this little decor this was a dollar so darn cute from the target bullseye playground um now if you bring your own bags at self-checkout you get 10 cents off so it was a dollar but i brought a couple bags so this was like 80 cents instead of a dollar and then i picked up this hundred count of lunch bags brown uh brown uh lunch bags a hundred count for a dollar 99 now my friends um at the dollar tree in canada they have the brown uh bags it's a 30 count for a dollar 50 canadian now i swear it used to be either a 40 or 50 count and now it's down to a 30 count for a dollar 50 and at Dollarama, they also have a 30 count, um, a 30 count of uh, lunch bags as well, brown bags. And it's $2 at Dollarama. So this 100 count for $1.99, that is an amazing deal. Plus, you you know, if you bring your own bags, you get like 10 or 20 cents off. Um, and no tax in Portland. So they have two sizes. This is the smaller size. So you're getting 100 of these bags. Um, but they have a larger, slight, slightly larger, but you're only getting 50 bags uh, for $1.99. And that is basically all I picked up from Target in Portland. Um, then went to the Dollar Tree. Now, I go to the two Dollar Trees in Portland. One is in Lloyd Center and the other one is in Hollywood. Now, I, I don't know what's going on because maybe those aren't the you know doing very well in terms of sale or is it the clientele because they are getting nothing absolutely nothing every time i go there it's like it's almost like a waste of my time because no never see anything that other people are hauling don't see the um go toe socks the t-shirts uh, those beautiful towels that everyone was hauling nothing absolutely just really sad but i did pick up a three pack of the palm olive soap mm, i just love the smell of this it's a dollar 25 for three um three uh the three pack of soap palm olive I picked up this butter dish. Now, this isn't a Greenbrier product. This product is a, um, it says Boris Plastics. This is made in Mexico. Now, I love getting the butter in the States because I love that it's in sticks. So this is just perfect. It fits a whole stick. 
So I thought I'd pick up this butter dish for $1.25. I picked up these facial serum. Now, I normally don't. This is by Beauty Guru, but I think I saw one of the Dollar Tree haulers say that this these are actually really good products. So I thought I would try it out. I picked up the facial serum and the under eye serum. Again, these were $1.25 US. Well, I'll see. See how that goes. Then I picked up this Welch's. This is the Concord Grape Gelatin. This was still a dollar. And the last thing I picked up at the Dollar Tree was um, this pack of moon pies. I've never had a moon pie. Um, so I thought I would try the pumpkin uh, spice moon pie. These are the mini ones. You get six in here for $1.25 US. Um, I thought I would try it for Monger Monday. And uh, my friends, that was all I picked up at, um, at the Dollar Tree. So then I went to Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's, I went twice in two weeks so i picked up the soyaki sauce i picked this up for a friend this was 3.99 i picked up the fur furry kake um i heard great things about this spice it's 249 you can put it on rice this is a japanese multi-seasonal uh, multi-purpose seasoning for 249 i picked up uh, pumpkin pie spice this was $2.99 this is for a friend and then I picked myself up a bottle of the ginger this was $1.99 I also picked up a bottle of the chili lime um, that was for a friend uh, the chili lime spice it was $1.99 so I've given that away already and um, let me get the rest from the refrigerated section and the only thing that I got from a refrigerated section is the pumpkin cream cheese spread from Trader Joe's. This was $2.29. So excited for this uh, pumpkin uh, cream cheese spread. You know, it's that time that pumpkin uh, pumpkin season is here, my friends. So again, this was $2.29 um, at Trader Joe's. And that's my friend is uh, that's all I picked up from Trader Joe's. Now, um, I think I let's let's do my Safeway haul. Let's do my Safeway haul. All right, my friends, I didn't pick up very much, but the deal of the week. I don't know how they have these crazy, crazy deals that we never will have here. So this was the special this week. It's a digital, uh, the digital deal, digital coupon. Eight cents, my friends, for the Tillamook yogurt. It was a limit of four now at eight cents american at a dollar 30 exchange that's 10 cents canadian for yogurt like we're never going to get those kind of deals here so i picked up the four i picked up the tillamook oregon dark cherry i picked up the lemon squeeze i picked up the key lime and um, I picked up the California peach. Eight cents, my friends. Eight cents American. That is just absolutely crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So that's all. That's what I picked up at Safeway. Now, the week before, it was a Safeway for you deal. Um, cheese. What's the American layover haul without cheese? So I picked up the Sargento cheese. Um, it was a limit of two for a dollar forty-four US. Um, the regular price on this is over four dollars. So I picked up the um, two hundred and twelve gram ten slice bag of the Sargento pepper jack cheese. So that was from Safeway. Um, and the rest. You know, I love the grocery outlet. So I went twice in two weeks. So I was there on the 10th and then I went back on the 16th. So uh, let's get into my grocery outlet haul. Save the best for last, my friends. Uh, let's just start with the refrigerated section so I can put it all back. Um, oh, 
Oh my gosh, my friends. I picked up this wee layered dessert. This is a strawberry cheesecake with chocolate. What does it say? Chocolate crust. This was 99 cents. Does that not look good? 99 cents. So 50 cents for one. I picked up the wee. This is by Yo Play. This is a French style yogurt. This was 75 cents. This, I think at Safeway, it's like $1.34 um, on sale. Um, and you have to buy like four, I think. But in any case, this was by um, Key Lime Flavor. And this was $0.75 cents at the grocery outlet. I picked up the Yo Play Pumpkin Pie Spice Yogurt. Uh, this was uh, $0.34, cents, I believe. And then I picked up by Danone. This is the Yo Crunch. This is the Snickers um, vanilla low fat yogurt. This was 50 cents. So that was from Grocery Outlet. Let me just put away these refrigerated, uh, these uh, dairy items, and I'll be right back. Oh, I forgot. I picked this up at. Safeway. Did I show you this? This is the Sweet Baby Ray's. This is the uh, Ray's a Secret Sauce. Uh, this was at Safeway and uh, this was reduced to clear. It was on clearance for $2.07. The regular price on this is like $4. So I don't know if we have the secret sauce here, um, but I thought for $2 I'll try it. Looks pretty good. I don't know. Did I show you that? Oh my gosh. Anyways, let's continue on with the grocery outlet haul. Now, grocery outlet, they have some really cute decor. And when it's at the end of season, they start clearing it off, you know, reducing it to 50%. So when I was there on the 10th, I picked up this. Well, I'm using it as, as decor, but I picked up this bird feeder. So the regular price on this was um, $9.99. And um, they were clearing it for 50% off. So I got this for $5. And of course, when I went back six days later, it would have been 75% off. But this was the only one that was left. Um, so I'm glad I didn't pay $9.99 for it. I was kind of humming and hawing. And then I, I just kind of waited. And so I got it for 50% off. Now I'm just going to use it as decor. This is, again, like I said, this is like a, a bird feeder. But... Home sweet home is the theme for my home. And um, I thought I would put this on the bookshelf. So I got this for $5. Would have been better for $3.50, but oh well. Can't. Uh... Can't win all the time, you know? All right, what else did I pick up? What else did I pick up? Okay, I picked up some drinks. Uh, this energy drink was 25 cents i believe and this one here the weight loss one was 50 cents so i'll be uh tasting those for thirstyology thursday um what else did i pick up i picked up this del monte this is a veggie bowl this was 99 cents so um, this is like quinoa with brown rice and it's um, Southwest style corn. So I guess that's the sauce that you put in there and you microwave it. This was again, 99 cents. Um, this was 50 cents. That's it. Crunchables. This is apple and pumpkin seeds. This is the spicy chili. I don't know, I guess you put this on top of salads or maybe you just munch it. Um, 50 cents. I thought I'd pick that up. I picked up this Fruity Pebbles Crisp. This was uh, 59 cents and it's not even expiring until October. So I thought, I don't normally, I don't think I've ever had Fruity Pebbles, but I thought maybe for Manger Monday, I would Manger this. 59 cents. Can you say no to that? Then I picked up this Cheez It. Cheez It popped corn. So I'm thinking this might be like the popcorners. I'm not sure, but this is the white cheddar flavor, and this was $1.99. 
I guess it's kind of like little nuggets of cheese it's popped. So, Moje Monday, my friends. Then I picked up this Terra chip. Uh, real vegetable chips it says this is the Mediterranean so this is garlic and herb uh, this was a dollar 99 I don't know what's just at checkout it just kind of was like oh maybe I should pick up one of these too um, Monje Monday so a dollar 99 for this and is this the last item I think this might be the last item my friends so I picked up this tub of peanut butter filled pretzel pillows now when i picked this up on the 10th it was a dollar 99 i hummed and hauled should i like should i really lug this thing home this whole tub um trader joe's has a version of this i don't know what they call theirs but basically it's the same thing it's like these little pretzel nuggets with peanut butter inside and of course when i went back the following week on the 16th, this was reduced to 99 cents. I know I paid a dollar more like that. I know a dollar's a dollar, but still. Anyway, it was still cheaper. Even at a dollar 99, it was still cheaper than um, the, the same version of this at Trader Joe's. So in any case, I paid a dollar 99 for that. And... I think, my friends, that is my American layover haul. So, my friends, um, if you like this video, if you could click the thumbs up button below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and walking with me on this walk to a thousand. I have uh, 55 members of on my team uh, walking with me on this YouTube journey and... Um, I hope that you'll consider joining um, my team on this walk to a thousand. So my friends, um, meet me back here for Mongje Monday and for Thirstyology Thursday. In the meantime, take care, stay safe. We will see you in the next video. A bientôt.